Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I really want to do like a fun challenge. Um, I know this makeup challenge happened a few months ago, maybe a year ago at this point, but it was the Power of Makeup Challenge. And what that challenge is, is you do one half of your face, you know, glammed up, looking good, you're going out on the town, and then you leave the other half of your face bare, and you can definitely see the power of makeup and you know just like how it works and how it makes people look so different sometimes so that's what we're going to be doing in this video if you guys like the idea give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn your post notifications on so you are notified every time i upload and make sure you check out my social media links they're linked here on the page as well as down in the description bar Let's get started with the video, you guys. So I'm gonna start by moisturizing my face. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm. This is from the drugstore. It is pricey. It's about $16.99, I would say. So I'm going to be doing the right side of my face with makeup, which it's going to be your left as you are watching this video. And I'm gonna bring the moisturizer down my neck. I always do this. I don't know if other people do, but I like to keep this part of my chin and neck area moisturized since it is the part of your face that ages the fastest. So next we're gonna go in with some primer. I'm gonna take the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This is my favorite primer of all time. And it is like a bomb. And I'm just going to put this right in all the areas that I have texture and where my problem skin is. So it would definitely be the T-zone for me, my cheeks and my chin area. And this is just gonna create a nice smooth canvas for our makeup application. Next, we're gonna go in with some foundation. I'm gonna take the ColourPop foundation. This is in the shade Fair 30. So it is a pink undertone foundation and I'm going to put some on my sponge and we're just going to start pouncing this into the skin. Again, we're just going to keep it on one half of our face and I am gonna blend it on the top of the nose as well. So you can already see a difference. You can see I have a lot of redness, discoloration, acne on this side. As you can see, I have like a lot of texture. And on this side, you can see it's completely covered up. This is a full coverage foundation, just so you guys are aware. So this is what the foundation looks like blended in. It's very, very smooth on the skin. I do think it's good for all skin types and you can definitely see that it is full coverage. Next, we're gonna go in with some concealer. I'm gonna take the Jeffree Star Concealer and I'm going to put this right under my eyes and on any acne bumps that we have. And we're just going to blend that right in. I'm just gonna use the same sponge. And this concealer, you guys, blends so fast and flawlessly. The shade that I have is C3, which is very brightening for under my eyes. I definitely want to get a tone that is more of my skin color versus brightening. But as you guys can see, it it's definitely full coverage and it does cover up a lot of my imperfections, which is great. So this is what my face is looking like so far. You can see I have a very bright under eye. I have a really, you know, one shaded canvas, if you will. Like over here, I have a lot of discoloration, but here you can see it is one true shade. And now we're going to put some powder on. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the color Fair 05. And it is the, I was, I was looking to see if it was like, like for oily skin or for like the dewy and smooth one, but it doesn't say. But I'm just going to set my whole face. Not my whole face, I'm sorry. I'm just going to set this half of my face. And I used to never like this powder, but it's kind of growing on me now. It leaves like a really nice finish. I don't know if it was just like the combination of products that I was using with this powder or like what the problem was that I didn't like it, but so far, I don't really mind it. I'm gonna put some on my eyelids as well. All right, so there you have it, guys. That's with the powder on. You can see I definitely look more healthy, more awake with this like even skin tone over here. Now I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. I'm gonna take the Lumi True Match Bronze It. This is one of my favorite bronzers. And I'm just going to put this right where my cheekbones are, give some color back to my skin, and warm up the skin a little bit since I am looking fairly fair. <laughs> did you see what I did there? Fairly fair. <laughs> 
I'm so funny. And you can apply this to your jaw if you wish, if you want like a more structured jawline. But you can see like this side is kind of like in a little bit more and then this side is just kind of like meh more rounded, I guess you could say. So now I'm going to apply some blush. I'm gonna use the Tardiest Pro Glow and the blush that I'm gonna use is this nice pink blush up here. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use this highlight right here. I'm gonna apply the blush with a contoured Wet n Wild brush. And we're just gonna put that right on the cheekbones. That, and then we're gonna add the highlighter like I mentioned. And I'm just using the Anastasia A23 brush. This highlighter is so blinding, you guys. It's beautiful. Whoa, girl. So now I'm gonna do the eyebrows. I have the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil here and I am just going to brush the hairs up and then just kind of fill them in a little bit. I usually will draw a line at the bottom and then I'll start filling in in the middle. And then once I had filled in the middle, I'll go up here to the top and I'll draw a line. And I'll try to define the brow, like the arch of the brow a little bit more. Kind of like that and then like I'll just brush it through a few times to kind of spread the product around just like that and then I just like check for any sparse areas that might be around so yeah that is the brow you guys I just do it very quick very easily and I will apply some brow gel this is just gonna keep your brow hairs in place all day and now let's get started on the eyeshadow so it's been a hot minute since I've done some eyeshadow here on my channel and I'm gonna go in with the Pure Festival palette. I got this in one of my boxy charms in the past and I actually really, really like it. I'm gonna start by priming my eyes. I am going to go in with the P. Louise base. This is in the shade 0 0.5 and I'm just going to apply a very, very small amount to my eyelid and I'm just gonna put it on a brush and we're going to work that into the eyelid. This is just gonna help your colors to look more pigmented it's gonna help them blend a little bit better and then usually I'll like smooth it out with my finger because sometimes with a brush it can get streaky so now like I said I'm gonna take this palette and we're gonna go in with this shade right here called epic and it's like a really orangey light brown color it's kind of like a beige color and it, it's like the perfect transition color so I am going to, uh, I'm going to take that on a, I believe this is a Sephora brush, like a crease shadow brush. It doesn't have a name on it, but I'm just going to start by putting this right on the crease there. And we're just going to blend it out. This is going to help our colors blend together and make the look more seamless. You don't have to use a transition color, but... I do just because if you don't use one, it, it just, it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's like your, your shadows just aren't going to blend. It's really weird, but I'm telling you, if you have problems with your eyeshadow blending, use a transition color. It's going to fix your problems and it's going to make your look, look so much more like dimensional and smooth and more blended. Next, I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's called Hidden Desert. It's like a red brown color. And we're just going to apply that in the same spot that we had put the orange shade. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to go back and forth in windshield wiper motions and blend that color out. And I am dipping into this shade a second time just to get the desired color payoff that I want. And you can see that's like a nice, even, smooth, blended eyeshadow. Um, the next color that I'm going to go in with is called All Night. It's a really dark brown color. And I am going to take that on a pencil brush. This is just um, a Morphe B72 brush. It is a pencil brush. And we are going to put that right on the outer corner of the eye and kind of bring it in a little bit to the middle of the eye and then we're going to go back in with that original crease brush just to blend out the edges a little bit so it doesn't look as harsh and I'm kind of just going for like a brown smoky eye with some glitter or like a shimmery eyeshadow color on the lid you can see that color blended out really really nice and I didn't even like have to do too much did you guys see that I almost wanted to do this eye because I'm so used to doing like 
my whole face. Oh my gosh, that would have been a disaster. Again, just adding a little bit more brown and going back in with the original crease brush just to blend out the edges. You can do little circular motions if that is what makes you more comfortable. I just usually prefer to do windshield wiper motions because that's what I'm used to doing. So I'm liking how this is turning out. I think I'm gonna go in next with this color called Free Spirit. It's like a really pretty gold shimmery color and I'm gonna try to apply that with my finger at first. Here's a swatch of it. As you guys can see, it's a really nice gold. I'm just going to put that right on the lid. Ooh, you guys, that's really pretty. I'm just gonna put it right on the lid just like that and then I'm just gonna like go over where the brown and the shimmer shade meet and I'm just gonna try to make them blend a little bit better together. Just like that and now I'm gonna go in with the lower lash line we're just gonna take that dark brown that we just used we're gonna put it right under the lower lashes try to keep it as close to the lower lash line as you can and I'm I'm not gonna bring it in all the way I'm just gonna stop right about here with that shadow because I think I'm just gonna put some shimmery shadow down by the opening of the eye like where the tear duct is. And now I'm gonna take that crease brush and go in with that red brown and that transition shade that we used and just kind of blend out the edges just like that. And then I'm gonna go in with that gold color that we just used and I'm gonna place it on the inner corner and down here into like the tear duct area. And that's it for the eyeshadow look, you guys. I'm going to, actually let's do a brow bone. Let's put that gold on the brow bone as well. Just like a little something something we got going up in here. Just a little something something. Mm. Ooh, that's looking so good. I'm gonna apply some mascara now. I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This is a really, really good mascara. And we're gonna pile this on our lashes. I'm not gonna apply any false lashes today because as you guys can see, this mascara makes your lashes look false already, which I like. Like, look how long my lashes are, you guys. Ooh, that's so beautiful all right you guys so that is the finished look look how crazy my face looks right now like here's reality and here's the internet <laughs> like my skin like this is why i love wearing makeup so much because like i feel like i look normal on this side and i just feel like i look blah on this side i don't know i just like how i can like easily look more awake more refreshed when i have makeup on and i just feel more confident and more beautiful and there's nothing wrong with that like we women don't we women and men don't need makeup to feel beautiful but it's something that boosts our confidence so if we want to wear it we're gonna wear it and yeah like I love how my skin looks right now but like look at the dramatic difference like I cannot believe how crazy my face looks right now and how great this side looks like I wish my whole face was done now and not just one half of it <laughs> But yeah, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. It definitely is like a, it's an eye opener for sure. Like, you know, because some of us that wear makeup, like, you know, we might not look anywhere close to what we na naturally look like without makeup. Like that's what makeup can do to us. But yeah, you guys, that's it for the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I know I liked it and I just, I can't believe like how crazy intense like this side is compared to like the side with no makeup on. Like that is insane to me. But yeah guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every time I upload and check out my social media they're linked down below in the description bar if you like the challenge like I said give it a thumbs up let me know what else you guys want to see you can leave a comment down below or you can dm me on my instagram I would love to hear what you guys want to see next and I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching guys bye